guys, sorry about the wind, Friday after work. I'm not sure what the tide is. Um, it's very close to where I found the other gold ring. Right there. I think we got one ring in at 12. Maybe not. I don't know. It's hard to see. Right there. Oh, it ain't a ring. <laughs> it looks like a ring. It's a button. There, at a high pitch, probably a junker. Could be silver. But it's a ring. It's a start, a little stone. You can see this. It's supposed to rain later, but not for a while. Okay, guys, I wasn't having much luck down that side. Points. Stuff. Uh, oh, there, back over this way. Bug the birds. Uh, right there. Finally back on the rings. Not sure if it's still the ring up high. Yeah, I'm seeing it. So that'll do. Looking for the gold, but I'll take this. Got it. Soaking wet. Got a little cut there. And kind of working from the top, working down. I'm on my third swing. And this rang up as a nine. So I see something shiny, but it may not be anything. And in fact, upon closer inspection, I'm thinking maybe not. to tell might be a blinger it's the first piece of jewelry uh, a bunch of nickels quite a few uh, dimes a couple pennies foreign coin a large motorcycle dirt bike toy that's probably I don't know eight nine ten inches long six inches tall which is kind of it's tough to fit in the bag there's the tire but yeah pretty big the grandkids will probably like that. So I just keep working here, working down. Tide's on its way back out. It's not raining currently and no wind blowing, which is nice. So we'll keep going. Hopefully we'll find some some gold. For luck. Fingers crossed. You guys right there. Three and a half scoops deep. First ring. Heavy, probably tungsten carbide, big diamonds or black diamonds or something. Uh, it's got some writing in there, but it's a little dunked up. Uh, but first ring, and pretty heavy too, so that's a good sign. Here's the park rangers. You can see all my lines there, and you can see where the targets all. It, that's the beginning of the cut there, and it kind of increases. We we'll go towards the middle, which is right about there. And I don't know, I think maybe 20 runs this way and that way. And you can see where the targets are popping out, where it's like spilled out of the bank. And uh, some probably out there in the wet too. I think I got a few coins, but I'm kind of staying out of the wet and just sticking to the dry. Okay, we'll keep at it, see what else we find. Fingers crossed. Uh, right 
there. Uh, 17. Might be a little silver charm off a necklace or something. Got some weight to it. That was just gonna be a sinker right there. Wasn't able to find it, I scraped it out. And it looks like a little lead figurine of a little girl. Hang on. That's crazy. Can you see? Can you see? Crazy. Perfect nine, but as I was uncovering it, it looks to be just like a stainless or something. But definitely probably a ring. Or maybe not. That's got a little discoloration right there. I don't know. Ah, uh, there's rust inside of it. I don't want to write it off yet, but I think it probably tungsten or something. Stuff in there. Mainly rust. It's got some weight to it. Fingers crossed, but I doubt it. Hey guys, switch beaches. Started getting a little slow over the other one. Uh, I'm gonna check over that way. But there's some low spots over here where the sand's gone out. Right there. It's like a, uh, a silver rosy. Still make out this rosy too. Yay! Okay, some more silver. Uh, keep working this spot, and I'm not sure about around the corner. It might still be sanded in over there. But we'll keep at it. Maybe we can find some more goodies in here. If not, I'll see you guys at the roundup. Head up from that dime. World's smallest ring. I don't know about small, world's smallest, but it's very tiny. Probably silver. And there's this number nine signal right there. I'll dig that up to see if there's anything interesting. If it is, we'll turn it back on. Looks like we might find a good little patch. Right up from that other dime. Uh, another dime. Silver. Also a rosy. Okay. So chasing the line up. Rosy. Silver ring. Uh, maybe. Oh, lead and the little ring, rosy, right there, another rosy. Make sure it's a rosy. Also silver. Another, another silver dime down from the other ones. Probably a rosy again. something else or might be a rosy yeah probably a rosy it's starting to get dark sun's going down I didn't bring my light it's up in the truck I keep working these spots over here There's still a couple areas could be some goodies hiding Maybe some gold for lucky okay guys quick wrap up I didn't clean any of this up not really rinse the sand off that's about it um the little lady I think it's it's either lead or brass or something I don't want to bend it because it'll break she's cute I don't know if she's like a Cracker Jack toy or what pretty cool that ring that ring up as a nine hold on it's fogging up um, stainless pretty this little guy Tiny, tiny, smaller than a dime. It's either a blue stone. Yeah, it looks like a blue stone. Maybe lapis luzi or whatever they call that. Lapis luzi. I uh, didn't clean that up yet either. Super thin silver ring. Broke at the base. And it was all folded, but that's the best I could get it for now. 
Um, four rosies, they're all rosies, silver dimes. Um, and a little bit of change. This little thing, since it's not on the chain or the bracelet or whatever it came off of, I haven't tested it. So I don't know if that's silver or not. It's got some weight to it. Might just be pewter or something, I don't know. But all in all, not a bad hunt. Uh, some of the coins are been wrapped up pretty bad. Oh, the, this one. This was kind of cool. It was folded over in half. You won't be able to tell. This says Bromo Seltzer on it. And I think it's lead. That was pretty cool. And that's about it. Well, best of luck out there. Thanks for watching. Catch you next video. Happy hunting.